Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Project-Based Learning. Capture your students' attention with real-world problem. Project-Based Learning is often abbreviated to the acronym PBL, which will be used throughout the video. So, why should educators use PBL in their classroom? Projects are often assessed through presentations. Having students present more often helps students develop better communication skills. Many times, project assignments allow students to work with their hands and complete tasks. It's important for them to have developed some of these 21st century life skills. Projects are assigned as group activities. Being able to work with others is a necessary component of countless fields of work. PBL really comes in handy for those situations where students are just plain old bored of lectures. The best part of PBL is that it increases student engagement. Students will actually enjoy working on these projects and be much more pleasant while working. Who is PBL meant for? Now, it can be used for any student. However, it is most effective on certain types of students. At-risk students benefit the most from project-based learning. These students obviously struggle with typical classroom learning. PBL can be used for many different classes, but PBL is most prevalent in social studies, science classes, and art classes as well. One common misconception is that project-based learning is only meant for upper grade level courses. However, PBL may be incorporated from grades kindergarten through 12th grade. How to implement PBL in our classroom. Every class project should begin with a driving question that is specifically aligned to a learning goal. The level of complexity of the driving question should be appropriate for the type of students in the classroom. The next step for implementation is the inquiry process. Students should apply learned knowledge, ask and answer critical thinking questions, and locate resources. In the next step, students find a solution to the driving question. Here is where students solve the problems, oftentimes with creations, models, and presentations. And the last step is to allow students to make their projects available to the public to give students a voice. Now that we have done all this talking about PBL, let's take a look at some classroom examples. Here are a few of my personal creations that I am very proud of. This is a project where I asked students to build a model of the Titanic and examine the ways the ship could have been built much better. It is a sixth grade social studies project and includes reasoning, writing, and research. The following project asks students to find the proper measurements and create a scale frame of a two-bedroom hip model house. It was for a 12th grade math analysis course. And the last project asks students to convert from feet to inches and use the measurements to paint and create a miniature basketball court. It was actually used for an at-risk Algebra 1 course. Right now, I would just like to say thank you for your time and please subscribe to the channel.